Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. You may be wondering, hey, Gaslight, what the heck are you doing playing this? You know, you're in the middle of, like, the Act 2 fight here. Well, this was just, this started off as effectively a, just like a, a practice run, really. But then, then uh, I realized, like, this was like a really powerful run. So I figured, hey, you know what, I'll I'll show it off. Let's see, deal four damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna take this, because I've got like a really thin deck here, very lean, very thin. And it actually seems pretty good. My only regret is that I took uh, the Runic Cube, excuse me, instead of the Velvet Choker. Because, in general, I play less than six cards per turn anyway, so let's see here. Oh, and it's the Bloody Awakened one again. Can I, like, get one of the other bosses and, like, actually beat them? Apparently not, is the answer. Anyway, let's see here. So, enemies, enemies. Okay, so I want to go up this way because it's got, like, the most fires. By the looks of it. Yeah, that, that, that seems really good. Really good. So, we'll go that way. I don't really want to fight enemies if I can avoid them, though, to be honest, and god damn it. Ah, oh, it's Forney. Forney bros. Anyway, so yeah, as you can see, this is, like, pretty, uh, pretty sweet. As far as I'm concerned. I mean, also, let's take a quick look at the deck, just to get a show of things. So we've got our, our strikes, we got some defense. I kind of wish I could get rid of one more strike. Just to kind of balance things out. I really have no defense. That's like the big thing about this particular deck. There's no defense. It's basically all attack. I mean, Rage Plus kind of helps us here, but... Like, the idea is gain as much strength as quickly as possible, because God help us, we don't have the energy to really do anything else. And, uh, yeah, with the Shuriken here, we can do extra damage. Which is good. I'll hit that, and we'll we'll bring Limit Break back, because honestly, like, that's the really, that's like the key strategy to this, to this, uh, play, is that we require, we require being able to hit through as much as possible. I mean, like, the big, the big difficulty here is the fact that these guys can, like, do, do stuff to me in that fashion. That's going to heal more than it's going to hurt, so... Yeah. Yeah, I think overall... Ah, dang it. Overall, I think that actually worked out. I think. And I like that. I like it when things work out. Because that's good. And it makes me feel good. And feeling good is good. Alright, so we'll start off, we'll get a little bit of defense in here. Then we'll uh, do a little bit of that, and I guess we just want to bring this back. I mean, we could we could go for limit break, but I think I want to get this back as quickly as possible. And I'm going to take damage one way or the other. Oh. Okay, I guess I should have went with limit break so I could then just like one shot kill this guy. Oh well. Like on this turn, that is. But then again, I healed 10 health. I was also pretty lucky to get this mango here. Honestly, the mango is what I attribute all my power and success to. Good old mango. I mean, to be honest with you, well, getting another upgraded headbutt actually might be good, because then I could, like, get some kind of weird cycle thing here of, like, infinite headbutts or something. But having something that provides a bit of block I mean, it'll eventually fill the... Nah, that... I mean... That could work horribly for me. I'm gonna take another headbutt. I feel that is the right play. Possibly. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, good. Okay. Be here. Yeah, we'll bring Limit Break back immediately. And is defense even... Like, we're basically going to take a whole bunch of damage one way or the other. Hmm. Or so if I draw more cards, then I can just get Limit Break right away. Oh, and there's Reaper. Alright. I mean, doing that kind of damage to all enemies. 
should be useful. This is going to hurt one way or the other. Oh, this is also going to be useful. Some oh, and this will give us defense. All right. I mean, the big weakness to this deck, I mean, I think we can all agree right away is one, I don't have enough energy to consistently uh, trigger this, which kind of sucks, but you know, life goes on. And the other downside, I could just kill this guy. I mean, he'll respawn. But, I mean, the idea here is to get as, like, to reduce as much damage as possible here. Like, I'm not going to be able to kill both these guys, so this guy's coming back next turn. But he'll be at half health. And with the power of limit breaks... Oh, man, that is juicy. Man, that reaper. That reaper, man. Taking that card from now on. I mean, it hits all enemies, heals you for... The actual damage you do. I mean, what's not a lot to love? I mean, I can kill... Yeah, sure, we'll bring Limit Break back. Why not? And I could straight up kill this guy this turn as well. Then next turn, we kill this guy. You see, now, now we're thinking with the old brains here. Yeah. And brains are... Generally good. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, man. Place the top card of your draw... Or the top card of your draw pile and exhaust it. Oh, play the top card. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. Like, it, it sounds good, but dangerous. I'm almost tempted to fight one of these things. But do I really need more relics? The answer is probably not. Do I want to remove a card? Maybe. Oh, good. Oh, wait, that's only on the first turn. Hmm. Yeah, but then again, getting that extra energy on the first turn could be critical. Let's see here. I'm gonna buy that, just in case. I mean, I probably don't need it, and maybe the fire potion or something would have been more useful, but all I know is that my gut says maybe. I wish I had one more attack card, honestly, this turn. That would have been nice. All right, we'll immediately bring Flex back. All right, that was good. All right, what are you doing to me? Oh, you're trying to weaken me. Well, you know, cool story, bro, but not gonna happen. Do I even need this? I might, but let's assume for a moment that we won't. I really need to upgrade Flex, to be honest with you. That would be pretty good. Oh, I wish I had this on my first turn. I really need just more... more energy overall. That's... that's my opinion, anyway. On what I need. Alright, so he's gonna... he's gonna do some damage to me. And I'm not gonna... you know what, what the heck. Probably not going to get, like, full use out of that, but it feels useful. Oh, I even get a little tiny bit of defense in there. Nice. Alright. Oh, and I've still got Reaper, so I, maybe I shouldn't have used that when I did. I should have saved that for... Oh, look at that. This is going to be so useful once I get it upgraded. Oh, he's not even going to attack this turn, so I guess I don't need that. Oh, look at that. That's sexy as hell. And then we'll just immediately bring Limit Break back next turn. That's like godly strats right there. I mean, I, I think I've finally got it. I've got like even better than demon form. This is this is like the god killing blade right here. Dang, I'm not gonna be able to kill him this turn. Oh, and I don't have enough energy for one more attack. If only if only. Give it the lantern. Not strong enough. I require more power. But you know, then again, I guess, you know, we've got pretty decent power already. Hmm. I mean, you know what? That's actually probably useful. Like, we are, we're probably going to want something like that. Just like we're going to want to use this right off the bat. I'm going to save this for later. And by for later, I mean, actually... Should I use it now? No, it's only gonna heal like 9, 18 health. I could totally save that for a later time. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna save it for a later time. My gut tells me that I want to save it for when I can, like, do, like, ridiculous damage here. I hate, I hate this guy, by the way. He can go screw himself. But, and then we'll just bring Limit Break right back, and we'll slightly, I hate when spikers actually fight back. That sucks, too. There's a lot of things in life that suck, but, you know, you gotta deal with those things. As, you know, sucky as they may be. Oh boy. Alright. I want the extra energy. And, oh, you know what? I do. Alright. Double up. I'm gonna focus on this guy. We'll bring Limit Break back immediately. Oh, that's gonna suck. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. This is where it's gonna hurt. Oh, but then again, look at that. Okay, come on, Reaper. Reaper? Oh, come on, Reaper. Where... Where is the Reaper when I need it, huh? Never around. Doesn't even defend me enough. Ah, well. We'll, uh, we'll get our shot. Actually. Let's see here, where is... Oh, I still didn't get Reaper. I should just kill it this turn, shouldn't I? Let's see, I'm gonna take seven damage, but... Ah, boy. I should've, I should've just used the Reaper when I had the chance, I guess, is the moral of that story. What is this? Whenever a card is exhausted, huh? Should I heal? I should probably heal. Ah, I could survive one more fight. And then watch, it's like the hardest, the hardest possible enemy in the game. Let's see, deal five damage to all enemies, heal for unblocked damage dealt. I wonder if that includes, like, if you overkill the enemy. Probably not. That'd be overpowered. You'd only heal for as, like, the maximum possible. Oh, hell, you're kidding me. And this is the point in time where Gaslight realized he really royally, royally effed up. Or did he? Alright, I should... Probably kill the Exploder first. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh man, that was good. Now that's pro strats right there. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself. If I can pretend I'm cool. Actually, yeah, we, we healed ourselves from like under half health to over half health, so... I like to think that's a pretty good sign. Ah, shucks. Oh well. It's not gonna be that bad. You're about to explode in two tur- Oh yeah, these things- They changed how these things work. But yeah, it's just kind of important to kill them right away and, you know, forget everything else. So he's gonna do five damage to me. But I'm gonna headbutt him in the face. And... That didn't kill him. I thought it was. I thought it was gonna kill him. But it didn't. And now I look like a fool. Sure, you know what? We'll, uh... We'll do it, and then I'll I'll heal myself. I don't really feel like I... You know what? I... I probably shouldn't. I mean, our deck was looking so... So smooth and sexy. But then again, uh, you know what? Well, I shouldn't get cocky. We could still easily die. All it takes is a few bad runs. Every time... Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's nice. I mean... We, we really have no defense this run whatsoever, but... Okay. Oh, dear. Let's see. I either heal or receive two Madness cards and lose 12 health. Or I get... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take that instead. Because why not? And I don't have enough money to feel like going to the shop would be worth it. And we'll upgrade Reaper. Doesn't make it that much stronger, but... I mean, even one more damage is, you know, makes it a little bit better. Ah, you guys again. I really sh I hear that there's, like, a... There's more enemies to fight in the beta. So I should, like, totally... Totally maybe consider going into the beta build. Also, I've still got this. I don't know if this is going to be useful for anything. 
And you know what we never got? We never got Whirlwind. Whirlwind would be a nice attack to get. I'd consider grabbing Whirlwind. And of course, naturally, we'll double up our strength because doubling up is always good. And... Ah, uh, we haven't hit you yet, so we'll hit you and then we'll of course grab Limit Break back. And we'll try to get a little bit more defense. That was not really the best turn to play Rage, I guess. Oh well. Oh yeah, I also went with like this most scrubbest uh, starting thing. Ooh, look at that. Alright, bloop. Bloop. Alright, do I want to Reaper this or do I want to... 114 damage. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna Reaper this. I mean, maybe that wasn't the best use of a Reaper. Not the best Reaping. But not the worst diver, so... I mean, I guess the idea is that it worked for what I needed it to do at the time. And that's the important thing, isn't it? Let's see here. 22 damage. I can't even one-shot these enemies. Alright, but I can kill him, so at least we minimize the damage we take. And we also gained a little bit of extra stuff, so that's good. Actually, I suppose... No, I, I was gonna say, we could like really risk this, because there's an achievement for getting like 999 strength for sign. And it'd be kind of funny, you know, just to, just to do that. But I mean, we're already at a point where within a couple of turns, we can basically one-shot our enemies. I like this, because the extra defense is good, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna double down on like the whole, like, we're gonna brute force... Ah, hell. Wait a... wait! Oh, oh I was gonna say, wait a minute, this is some... This is bullshit here, because this is like a... An elite fight kind of thing. I mean, I actually want to take it, to be honest with you. But, yeah, I'm not gonna, like, like it said, I'm not gonna be greedy. Oh, hello there, shopkeeper. I mean, you have, I mean, I could take another heavy blade, but the deck is fat enough, so we won't. Let's see here. Some extra energy cards, a bit of extra dexterity. Oh, well, we could get some more strength right off the bat. I feel this might have been better. But getting a little extra strength for like right right off the top of the top of the nine fear. Top of the ninth? Is that is that even a thing? How many innings are in baseball? All I know is that I'm pretty sure I just made a baseball reference. I don't even like baseball. Alright, let's uh immediately this is the first time I remember actually noticing this card existed. Okay, how do I want to do this? Well, our goal is probably to kill these things first. If my, uh... My guess is any indication. Oh boy. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Alright, so I gotta kill these things, because they don't come back. That's the important thing. But damn, this guy does a lot of damage right off the bat. That's kind of ridiculous. Alright. Save Reaper for later. Alright, this is a... Uh... Okay. Yeah. Actually. Now, do I dare? No, I'm gonna focus on one at a time here. Hmm. Well, I will kill him this turn if I do this. So I will. Oh, look at that. Alright. I mean, we killed at least one. That's good. And we're back to full health. Probably not the best time to use that, honestly. Like, it, I probably could've used that to, like, completely heal myself after fighting this guy. But my gut said do it. And I like to listen to my gut sometimes. Because it usually doesn't let me down. And yeah, we're gonna totally kill this jerk face here. This is gonna hurt. But we are gonna gain enough strength so that by the time we actually ow, ow. By the time ow, ow. By the time we actually get to the end here. Oh, I was really hoping for limit break. Oh well, you don't always get what you want. Okay. 84 damage. But between the various headbutts and strikes, we'll be able to get more strength. Okay, we'll bring this back. And we'll bring this back. Or just bring back another headbutt, that might even be better. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh yeah, and we also get healing. So we get more healing, ultimately. But yeah, go... Suck... 
on stuff, you stupid sleeping bird. Oh yeah. Oh boy. I mean, this is going to be close because again, we're like really seriously relying on some like real... Actually, no, I think I might die here. I'm not quite doing enough damage to kill him. All right, I'll do it. Oh, wait. Yeah! Oh, good, look, he's almost dead. And if we get limit break, okay, we, we might be able to pull this off. It's unlikely. But it is possible. Possible. Very possible. That's French for possible, by the way. All right, free hunt. Oh hell. Okay, yeah, this is not happening. Yeah, this is not happening. We were so close, which is what really, really uh, busts my cannolis here. Shucks. So close. I mean, that was a good run, but I think that's worth showing off just because we were so close. A very short run, or, well, 21 minutes, but yay! Alright. Well, that was that. We were we were so close. We, we almost, almost had that, but then we didn't, which is the biggest disappointment of my life. But, anyway, until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I will see all you in the next video.